Thank you for tuning in to No Flag Radio. I'm your host, P. Riding down on the facts. Today we're talking about the racist white supremacist attack on Jesse Smollett. So the story is Jesse Smollett just arrived in Chicago from New York to film Empire and ended up going to a subway for some food before he got attacked. And as he was getting attacked, these dudes supposedly yelled, aren't you that faggot empire nigger? This is MAGA country and all of that shit, right? Now, gay people do lie, celebrities do lie. So the first thing a lot of people were saying, well, hey man, two people walking around with Clorox and a noose and there's no footage. Well, there was no footage at the time. So a lot of people were quick to jump on it. Well, hey, that's, this sounds like some bullshit. And if you go through a lot of a lot of feeds, you'll see a bunch of white supremacists and suspected white supremacists trying to bat it down. Oh, this is just some fakery. This is just some made-up stuff. They're just making it up. They're trying to disparage the MAGA hat community and all of this shit, right? But then what happens? You get footage, finally. And you'll see that in the thumbnail that I put up. This was from the Chicago Chief Communications Officer, Anthony Guglielmi, at about 2.53 p.m. Central Time yesterday. And just giving an update to the case, this was on his Twitter, at AJ Guglielmi. Hours ago, Chicago detectives located a surveillance camera that shows potential persons of interest wanted for questioning in reference to the assault and battery of Empire actor. So they found surveillance. While people sitting up talking about, oh, you blacks are just wanting to make some racial, yeah, it ain't out of thin air, motherfucker, shut up. But then it just says a community alert with photos is being constructed and will be disseminated shortly. So they got footage right now from one camera on the street is what it looked like, but they got more coming. So all you MAGA hat wearing, suspected white supremacists talking shit like this shit ain't happened. Well, you dumbasses, the fucking shit happened. You stupid, dumb motherfuckers. So I want y'all to just kind of look at how they've tried to walk this case down and tried to walk it out of the conversation of black media. Because once black media got a hold of it, we was automatically calling it a racist attack against somebody black. Especially because they pulled out the noose. The noose is a symbolic device of torturing black people in America. Not nobody else. Not gay people, not... Jewish people, not nobody else, right? And y'all see why I'm throwing up Jewish in a little bit. But I was one of the guys in social media that called out early that, look, you know, they backed down from calling this an anti-Semitic crime as well. Because, hey, look, you know, these MAGA Trump hat wearing motherfuckers, they already got an anti-Semitic Trump supporter label slapped on their head from the mass shooter Robert Bowers. Y'all might remember me talking about him before. He was the one talking about he's a globalist and not a nationalist in response to Donald Trump talking about he's a nationalist. Y'all remember that conversation Trump had with the world, right? Now, I want y'all to notice that whenever a member of the dominant society who has known ties to white supremacy, and white supremacists like a Donald Trump or a Robert Bowers motherfucker, neoconservative movements, whatever, whenever they say nationalist or even a globalist, they're talking white supremacist code. If they say nationalist, they mean taking white supremacy national. If they say globalist, they mean taking white supremacy global. All right? I be on Reddit enough to know what's up. I be listening to what the racist white people be saying to know enough about what they talking about when they try to codify shit. No matter what they say. So when you hear somebody white that has a record for being down with the anti-black white supremacist crowd like a Trump or a Robert Bowers, when they say they're a nationalist or a globalist, that is white supremacist code. Right, and now remember the neoconservative white nationalist crowd, they're the same groups that umbrella the Holocaust denial genre of white supremacist bullshit. So they're all lumped in with the same caliber of anti-Semitic mud, right? They're all in the same pal. The Trump supporters, the Robert Bowers, the MAGA hat wearers, they're the group of people that came up with Holocaust denial. All right, so just put that shit together. But 
they didn't talk about none of the Jewish leanings in it because look, Jesse Smollett, his dad is a Jewish Russian guy. All right, he's a white guy and his mama is black. So they're running with the whole narrative well, he black and this and that. And that's cool. We, we gonna run with it. Okay, fine. We gonna ride with it because he looked like a Lenny Kravitz type motherfucker. He looked black. So, you know, I always say you are what color the police think you are when they pull you over. Don't give a fuck what your bloodline look like. But they didn't play up the anti-Semitic end of it too hard. So I jumped on it quick like, okay, you white supremacists, look, since we lumping you in with the anti-gay, anti-black too, let's throw in that anti-Semitic too. We can get a Let's get a red alert on this motherfuckers that assaulted this guy. Let's go ahead and do it like that. Hone in on your toxic white masculinity real fast and show people how toxic it is, how anti-Semitically toxic, how anti-black toxic, how anti-gay toxic it is. And I'm about to do a post on toxic masculinity real soon so we can smash further on they stupid asses with that made up bullshit they make up to try to pass off on black men. We're going to get on them. But... Notice how they walked it down. They didn't even walk it into anti-Semitic too much. There was a few reports that tried to bring up the anti-Semitic note yesterday. But that's like, this is like some days after this shit. They trying to, you know, they kind of late to that party. But I was not late to it. The minute I found out about it, the first thing I tweeted was, yeah, there's some anti-Semitic shit. They don't want to throw this motherfucker under the anti-Semitic thing because then people will start saying, well, hey, this is a crime against white people. This is white toxic masculinity committing a crime upon whiteness. They don't want to make it look like that because his mama is black. And they want to say, okay, well, let's not bring in white on white shit. Let's not make it look like some white on white shit, right? But, so now we're seeing as recent as yesterday, they walked this down from, first it was anti-gay and they tried to push it as anti-gay and then we had to get the whole gay community, we were smashing on the gay community that tried to box it up as some anti-gay shit. We said, no, this is some black shit. You closed-minded gay people that don't want to see, they don't see your gayness on the street when you walk into a subway, they see your blackness first. I even went in on a gay guy named, uh, what's his name? Uh, Trey Melvin. And he was sitting up, he was just like, uh, you niggers need to understand that this is assault on gay people, niggers. And yes, I am black, but you niggers are making jokes about me because some brothers was going in on about, look, man, you gay and you putting gayness in front of blackness in this situation about Jesse Smollett and you looking like a retard is what you looking like. You looking dumb as a motherfucker, man. He's using all these niggers and niggers because he's like putting the hard ER on this shit, right? And I'm just like, alright, you are definitely a clown. And if you check him out on YouTube, he got a little following. But it's mainly a bunch of women following him and gay people, alright? It's a bunch of women. Sisters is caught up in that. Caught up into his gayness and his little platform. And it's gay people in general. Caught up in his bullshit, right? But they are strangely absent from this Twitter feed. And I'll put up the little Twitter blip. Let me pull it up. So y'all can see. There it is. There it is. So... They're jocking him on YouTube with his little, you know, homosexual skits that he do. But they was absent from Twitter when he was talking all this, you niggers and you nigger, 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 and they just nigger, nigger and all of this. A black dude, right? So I put up a tweet like, man, all that is is just you. You feeling like you prey on the side of gayness right now because white men are over there Ed bucking black men on your side of the world. And you thinking, using nigger, 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 you thinking that's some sort of G-stripe with the straight black community. When the truth is, you don't want to talk tough to the gay violators in your community. To the white male gay violators who are violating you dudes. So you take all the little racist shit that they be telling y'all gay dudes over there on y'all's gay side. They call y'all all, all kind of niggers and nigger bitches or whatever they call y'all gay black men over there on y'all side. You take that vitriol because you can't beat white zaddy. You want to bring that to the straight black male community. And we ain't having it. We're going to call you out for being a dumb motherfucker. And a punk motherfucker that need to get out of our face. And you need to go check Ed Buck. Go call Ed Buck a nigger. Go talk tough to Ed Buck. Was what I was saying to the dude. And I got my share of likes. Like, man, don't bring that shit to us. You talk tough to Ed Buck, you gay boy. Instead of coming over here acting like you tough. We don't want to hear you acting tough with us. When you're really prey over there on the side of the world that you're dealing with. As Because white supremacy runs rampant in the gay community. They gonna try to talk you down like it ain't what's happening, but we telling you what the fuck it is. 
Jussie Smollett is proof that white supremacy run rampant on y'all's life over there. So y'all need to act like white supremacy is kicking you in the ass and stop trying to nigger, nigger, nigger and trying to act tough. We don't appreciate that shit. You're projecting your sense of vulnerability that you experience being gay and black on your side of the world at the hands of racist white supremacist males who drug and kill y'all at will over there. You're projecting that sense of vulnerability on an easy target. Black people, black straight men. You want to play tough with us. We don't appreciate that stupid shit you gay people be doing. Now they walk this case down back to Juicy Small. I had to take a break to get on this punk Trey Melvin motherfucker, man. But now they've walked this anti-black, anti-gay, anti-Semitic assault on Jussie Smollett. They've walked it down in the media. Or they're trying to walk it down on some major sites. Calling it now alleged assault and battery. You get that? You see how they walked this down from day one into now it's alleged assault and battery. All the way from anti-black violence, all the way from an anti-LGBT, all the way from anti-Semitic, from an anti-Semitic hate crime committed by white males into an alleged assault. So the media is on white supremacist code right now, trying to wash it away. And this was before the pictures and all that stuff came out. So now it ain't, it ain't nothing alleged. We're gonna get more and more video as this comes out. And all these media people who ran to libel the motherfucking case behind this guy, Jesse Smollett, because they're launching a federal investigation on it, it seems. They're gonna have to print some retractions or they're probably not, as we know, they don't print retractions when they straight up lie. They just let the lie sit out there and hope somebody comes across it and believes the lie. That's how white supremacist media works. That's how their fourth estate works when they put stuff in print. So we gotta stay banging on them, understand? Now, let's look at Jussie Smollett. You know, we gotta look at his side of the world and see what he been doing up to this point. I always like to look at people's record to see what they record look like up until they crash into something. It's like, all right, what was you doing before you crashed, homie? It's like Cynthia G, like what was she going through before she laid down with Robert Perkins and got a nut busted in her? She was talking about how men ain't shit all day and da 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 and, and men ain't this and men are so low and even the conscious woke men are chasing white women and, and all that shit. Well, all right, well you crashed into some hood red baby mama dusty man at your side type shit that you kept playing up to every day of your life. I told myself one day she gonna crash into this dusty beta male shit that she prays to. She prays to this altar of beta male energy. Karma's gonna be like, oh, you like this kind of energy? You like to play in this kind of energy? Okay, here it go for you. Boy, I'm, t I'm telling you, man, your boy is like P. Stradamus, goddammit. I'm telling y'all, I know how to predict the future. You give me enough facts not to get off the track about Cynthia G. I don't care nothing about her. The type of women that follow Cynthia G and subscribe to her shit or the type of women we gonna have to get at on the battlefield at some point. I've already resigned to that. She ain't for my people. But I had to take a little detour. That shit was funny as hell when I found that shit out. But look, look, here we go, though. I went through Jussie Smollett's Twitter and, you know, today and recently he's been saying, look, this happened to me because I'm black and gay. And he's kind of caught the cold that, look, it's because I'm black and gay. All right, so he got that. He ain't trying to sugarcoat it and say that it ain't because he black. And uh, y'all better know that the one drop rule is in full effect for 2019. Let's just say it, all right? Y'all motherfuckers sitting up talking about Kamala Harris is black because she got a black daddy. And goddamn it, Jussie Small is black because he got a black mama. They don't acknowledge the white side or the other side. They only look at black and then they attack you based on black. So what this is, this is white terrorism. Back to my point. This is white terrorism. Kamala Harris helped pass a law after the Charlottesville attack saying the president's supposed to go hard on hate crimes and white terrorism, right? Specifically white terrorism. And it's done nothing. The black gay community is still having a hard time getting white society to call out motherfuckers like Ed Buck. Yet, I did notice how a lot of the gay black community want to rush to one side of this issue with Jussie Smollett. They didn't want to just say, look, it's some black shit. They ran to the homophobic type of bullshit. That's a little fail safe they run to. They don't want to call out the whole picture because calling out their blackness, then that puts them back in the pot with us. 
and it makes them have to deal with their experience in America from where we at, for real, not from just where their bedroom antics start at, you understand? The picture is different than what you allow to go inside of your body in the bedroom, you gay people out there. Or you allow to lick on you in the bedroom, you gay people out there, okay? But I went through Jussie Smollett's Twitter, and before this event, it was all about gay people and women's issues. Not much about black family, not much about black men here on the streets, all right? So I can see how the mainstream media ran with his persona of gay and LGBT crime. I get it. If you go through his timeline, he's all times up this, times up that. I'm like, okay, times up, huh? All right. All right. That looked like some bullshit right there. Automatically, I'm thinking, okay, you on some second wave anti-black maleism. Me Too was the first wave of anti-black maleism in social media. Now this time's up. It's the second wave shit. And you on that shit? All right. All right, homie. It was that. And then he got, you know, some HIV, this and that, HIV causes, because, you know, HIV is a big issue with gay people. And he got another thing where he's trying to save an all-women's HBCU college. Bennett College financially is going through some things. But, you know, I don't see him going through too much about what black men be going through in the street based on our blackness. His timeline is full of just tweets about empire and real nonsensical shit that don't have no footing or concrete stance in the experience of black men, women, and children daily. He, he about women and time's up and gay shit. And I'm like, all right. But the women and time's up and gay shit, that don't help you when you getting attacked by some motherfucker on the street. None of that can save you. All your women, gay, and HIV, and time's up, none of that will provide you defense against a white criminal running up on you with a noose and some Clorox trying to throw it on you and run. I mean, you got to be on some other type of time in your mind when that type of shit happened. Time's up ain't going to help you, homie. But I just had to drop that. Don't forget to go to my teespring.com account. My shit is what it is. I got some more shirts coming through. Y'all are going to see my toxic masculinity shirt coming through pretty soon. Y'all are going to see my keep black great as usual shirts coming through. I see the boy Phil LeBaz got some make black, make black America great or something like that. That's cool. That's cool. But it's still not keep black great as usual. You understand? <laughs> so go support go support support everybody support all that shit definitely go to my teespring check out my new tees them shits is jumping I need them hoes to move I'm saying we gotta wear this shit on our sleeve god damn it we gotta wear our messages on our sleeve cause otherwise motherfuckers are kinda try to be asleep to this shit y'all notice that every day you wake up you look at your social media what is it if you on my channel, you probably got a bunch of black motherfuckers spitting positive black shit that you subscribe to and follow. And every time you look at your threads and your timeline, this motherfuckers, we out here going to war with motherfuckers. Everybody is on some bullshit every day and we got to keep batting them down. We always in somebody's motherfucking ass about the shit that they on. And we're like in a vortex of getting on motherfuckers. You understand? So... This is all a part of it. You got to wear that shit. You got to speak that shit. You got to type that shit into a motherfucking computer, goddammit. Press enter. You got to do all that type of shit with the real shit we be on. This is how we handle shit. And that's that. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit that like button. Don't forget to hit that notification bell. So you know when I'm dropping. Get a job.